Responding to Israeli attacks in the early hours of October 26, Iranian air defense units were reported to have shot down multiple incoming air-launched missiles around the capital Tehran. The intention behind the very small-scale attack was evaluated at the time, with circumstantial evidence indicating that air defenses were successful in intercepting all targets. Although Western and Israeli sources have made contradictory reports regarding how many waves of Israeli attacks were launched, Reports from Iranian sources indicate more than one wave of missile strikes. Israeli attacks notably used long-ranged air-launched missiles, which could be fired from far outside Iranian airspace and well beyond the range of the country's air defenses, thus minimizing risks to Israeli aircraft. This mirrors the approach taken in most strikes on Syrian targets, particularly after the loss of an Israeli F-16I fighter in February 2018 to an Israeli S-200 air defense system. This is also consistent with leaked U.S. intelligence reports that Israel planned to use long-range air-launched ballistic missiles to strike Iran. Reports from Iranian sources indicate that while medium-range surface-to-air missiles were used to neutralize Israeli missiles used in the first wave of attacks, long-range air defense systems were subsequently employed. This included the first ever use by the country's armed forces of an air defense system to strike a target over 100 kilometers away. The Iranian air defense forces field multiple surface-to-air missile systems capable of engaging targets at such ranges, including a heavily customized variant of the Russian S-300 PMU-2 delivered in 2018. Iran's most capable indigenous long-range air defense system the Bavar 373 was reported in April to have also achieved a 300 km engagement range through integration of the new Sayed 4B missile. There is a significant possibility that the widely used system was employed to repel recent strikes, including possibly for interceptions of incoming Israeli missiles at ranges of over 100 km. Iran's Kordad-15 system represents a lighter counterpart to the Bavar 373 with notably also retains an engagement range of well over 100 km, although it remains uncertain whether this system has been fielded on a large scale. Little information regarding the Kordad-15 has been revealed since it was first unveiled in the summer of 2019. Elaborating on the features and capabilities of the defense shield, General Hitami said that it can trace targets, including fighter jets and enemy drones, 150 kilometers away and intercept them at a range of 120 kilometers. It can also trace stealth targets in areas 85 kilometers in distance, and destroy them at a distance of 45 kilometers, he added. General Hitami said that the missile defense system can trace, engage, and destroy six targets simultaneously, enjoys high mobility and can be prepared for operation in less than five minutes. The system is equipped with passive phased array radar system with a multiple target engagement capability. It also has separate launch pads and operates with Sayed 3 missiles, he underlined. Iran's reliance on ground-based air defense systems remains very significant due primarily to its lack of modern fighter aircraft, with its multi-layered air defense network representing an unprecedentedly potent challenge for Israel and its Western Bloc allies that complements the country's formidable ballistic missile deterrent.